The Easter Egg Artists by Adrian Adams As read by Tara Rose Stromberg There are abbots, and there are abbots. These abbots are rabbits. The rabbit abbots make the designs on Easter eggs. Their son, Orson, thought he wanted to be an artist, too. He was going to try to help with the eggs next Easter. Father Abbot looked at the picture Orson had made to show what he could do. Well, he said to Mother Abbot, it's not bad for five minutes' work. But look at him out there. He's forgotten all about it. Remember, he's still a youngster and needs to play, said Mother Abbot. That's what I mean. He may not be much help. The Abbots ordered 100 dozen eggs to be delivered in January. We should be back from our vacation by then, Father Abbot said. And we will have plenty of time to finish painting the eggs by Easter. It is already October, Mother Abbot said. We should leave soon if we want to get south before the cold weather comes. First, the car needs painting, said Father Abbot. Not the whole thing, Orson said. Just the rusty parts. I'll do it. Then he saw the grin on his father's face and said, Well, at least I'll help. Let's make the car and trailer look like Easter eggs. Great idea said Father Abbott. They worked together covering the rusty spots with their special designs. Then off the Abbots went on their trip. They took along everything they would need for camping, and their paints and brushes too, just in case. Wow, Orson said after a while. People really like the way we painted the car. Everybody's looking. Dad, how do you make purple? Red and blue together? Right, said Father Abbot. Fasten your seatbelt. The Abbots drove south, and farther south, looking for nice weather and a good place to set up camp. At last, they reached the warm sea. Orson had never seen so much water. They set up camp and spent long days on the beach. Orson wore his red life belt. He galloped in the sand and splashed to the sea. Mother and Father Abbot drew portraits of everyone who wanted to pay for them. When the Abbots had had enough of that, they went traveling again, just poking around. People were always offering them jobs because of the beautiful designs on the car and trailer. They even decorated the outside of an entire house. Orson did all the high parts. It was easy for him to keep his balance on the slanting roof. And he liked looking down and out over the trees. A plane, advertising the county fair, buzzed the house. The pilot landed and came to get a closer look. Well, naturally, he wanted his plane decorated. Oh, wow, Orson yelled. Hmm, Father Abbott said. Shouldn't the decorations be on the bottom? People look up at a plane. Top and bottom, the pilot said. I do aerobatics. What's that, Orson asked. I make the plane tumble over and over in the sky. Orson shivered with delight. He worked hard decorating the plane. Maybe the pilot would take him for a ride in the sky if he liked the designs. He did. Orson and the pilot circled over the Abbot's camp. Orson has really changed, Father Abbot said. Keeping his mind on his work until he's finished, He's growing up fast. It helps when people notice what you do and enjoy it, Mother Abbot said. 
It seems to work that way. When we were in town shopping this afternoon, we were asked if we would decorate the bridge over the river. Orson spoke right up and said we'd be glad to. And on the way home, he asked me if he could do it all by himself. Fine, said Mother Abbott. We'll have fun just watching for a change. Everybody came to watch. Orson loved it. He was busy for a long time, but he never got tired. It was January when he finished, and the Abbots had to hurry home and start painting the Easter eggs. Would Orson be able to settle down and work in the studio after all that had happened? Would he be interested in painting Easter eggs? One hundred dozen, Father Abbot said to himself. That's twelve hundred eggs. Six hundred apiece, if we have to do them all without Orson's help. The eggs were there when the Abbots got home. Goose eggs, duck eggs, chicken eggs, and ostrich eggs, too. It was the ostrich eggs that got Orson interested. He tried one, and another, and another. Soon he was working as hard as he had worked on the bridge. He was having a wonderful time because he had invented comic Easter eggs. People wanted to buy them faster than he could paint them. His parents finally had to start helping him to keep up with the orders. Father Abbott was forever on the telephone, ordering more eggs or taking new orders. Orson was laughing. Whoever finds this is going to get a shock, he shouted. Easter came at last. All of the orders had been filled and shipped out. The only eggs left were for the abbot's annual Easter egg hunt. The little rabbits of the neighborhood were eager and waiting. The abbots, all three of them, hid the eggs the night before by flashlight. The next morning, Mother and Father Abbot were tired and sleepy. But not Orson. He was up and out. He climbed into a tree where he could watch the little ones hunt the eggs. His parents couldn't resist. They had to get up and look out the window once. Well, was all Father Abbot could say, and Mother Abbot smiled sleepily. During the day, the spring weather grew warm. Mother and Father Abbot were taking it easy outdoors. Where's Orson? Mother Abbot wondered. He was working on something in the studio a while ago, Father Abbot said. But no telling where he might be now. Orson Abbott, the Easter egg artist, Mother Abbott said fondly. Yes, Father Abbott said. And car artist, and house artist, and airplane, and bridge. Don't look now, said Mother Abbott. But flagpole artist, too. The Easter egg artists by Adrian Adams. As read by Tara Rose Stromberg. Produced by The End Audio Productions.